Our coastal seas and oceans are facing unprecedented environmental change. Rising sea temperatures, new pollutants and fishing are having widespread effects. St. Abbs Marine Station is a state-of-the-art independent marine research facility dedicated to delivering world-class research to tackle local, regional and global marine issues. With particular focus on conservation and sustainability, the coastal ecosystems of the North Sea and training for marine scientists. carrying out research for the benefit of all those who make their living from the sea. From the fishing community and fisheries to the tourism industry, as well as existing and future marine businesses. The marine station is perfectly located in the center of a working harbor to work closely with all these stakeholders. 50 miles southeast of Edinburgh, St. Abbs is a historic fishing village on the Berwickshire coast. These coastal waters are part of the oldest voluntary marine reserve in the UK and attract tens of thousands of visitors every year. Divers come from all over the world to explore its crystal clear waters. What makes St Adams particularly special is it's where the, the cold currents from the north and the warm currents from the south meet, which results in clear oceans, as well as us having species that are typically found in warmer and colder climates. Naturalists navigate the spectacular coastal pathways on the cliffs of St. Abbs Head, which provide nest sites for thousands of seabirds during the breeding season. As well as being home to diving charter operators and others involved in the tourist industry, St. Abbs is also home to several well-established fishing families. Take a look around, you know, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's a pretty good office to, to work in. It's just, once it gets in your blood, you know, it's, it's in you and you, you just, it's what you want to do. Every year it's getting harder and harder to make a living, just due to fishing pressure. People put more gear in the sea to try and make up for it and it ends up the sea is just full of, full of butts. I've worked alongside the marine station for a couple of years now. You know, they'll the purchase crabs, lobsters off me for, for um, research. So it's, uh, it's good for me um, and interesting, you know, to, to understand some of the science behind behind the fishing as well, you know. The sea is very important uh, for us, you know, it's um, it's not just a beautiful place, it uh, gives, gives us a living, so it's uh, it's worth looking after, you know, making sure there's a viable stock there for us year in, year out. I think a lot of people who rely on the ocean for their livelihood can see that they need to protect it for future generations. St Abbs Marine Station is a registered Scottish charity built by the Nesbitt Cleland Charitable Trust in 2014. It is managed under a tripartite agreement with Heriot Watt and Edinburgh Napier Universities. This partnership is an innovative example of structured collaboration between publicly and privately funded organisations in marine science and allows the marine station to implement a full research programme and maximise the use of its facilities 
by collaborating with existing research talent as well as share the research grant application process that is vital for long-term stability. The aim of the marine station is to become financially self-sufficient and not to rely on one sole private funding stream. The station is fully equipped to carry out all aspects of marine research. Our current research focuses on the effects of marine stressors and on sustainable management. So one of the unique things about the station is our close proximity to the ocean and that means we can run a complete flow through system. So we pump 20,000 litres of water an hour through the station and these pumps run continuously 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That means that from experimental setup, what is happening out there, you get here so there's no settlement, it's completely raw as is in the ocean. So we have upwards of 100 tanks in the facility and each one is extremely versatile. We can control temperature, we can change the water chemistry and we can change the light conditions. This is our mesocosm. It's a 100,000 litre tank, 4 metres deep and it runs continuously on flow through seawater. What this does is it perfectly bridges the gap between experimental tanks and running experiments in the sea. The research aquarium also has a clear roof to allow for natural light conditions and a microalgae photobioreactor which can be used to cultivate a biomass of microorganisms for experimental purposes. So the whole facility is built with glass reinforced plastic which is a non-ferrous material. It allows us to create uniform electromagnetic fields with minimal interference. And this is our Helmholtz coil. So this is eight kilometers of uh, copper wire. We run a current through it about two or 300 volts and it lets us create the magnetic field that's predicted to be around the cables of offshore wind farms. Most of the species that we work with are commercially important decapods. They're the species that are really, really likely to encounter these cables. So we focus our work on crab and lobster. The temperature controlled room allows us to work with temperature sensitive species or larval stages which require constant temperature. Also allows us to manipulate the temperature so that we can work with a wide range of warm and cold water species. The biggest thing for this facility is field access and I think for a marine biologist it doesn't get any better. You take one step out the back door and there you are, right in the ocean. The marine scientists are able to access the field through a well-established shuttle diving charter business, operating from just outside the marine station. The St Abbs Visitor Centre is a partner facility providing a link to the 50,000 visitors to the St Abbs area each year, providing a demonstrable community connection and a measurable public impact of marine research projects. The St Abbs Marine Station is looking ahead to shape a more sustainable future for the facility. We aim to do this by successfully building reputation and credibility through world-class research activity. Our aim is to unlock future grant support from both government and private sources and potential commercial partnerships. We welcome project collaborations with all other parties interested in marine science.